Hello, today I am talking about rendering React elements. An element is like a single frame in a movie. It represents the UI at a certain point in time, and components are formed out of elements. Unlike browser DOM elements, React elements are plain objects and are cheap to create. React DOM takes care of updating the DOM to manage the React elements. Every React application needs to have a root DOM node in your main HTML file, and that's where everything is handled by React DOM. Applications built with just React usually have a single root DOM node. True story! Create H1 Hello World element. To render a React element into a root DOM node, pass both to React DOM renderer. And it displays Hello World on the page. By the way, React elements are immutable. Once you create an element, you can change its children or attributes. With our knowledge so far, the only way to update the UI is to create a new element and pass it to React DOM renderer. Now, let me create a tick function. Inside, I will add a new date string. And at the end, let's call our function every second. It calls React DOM render every second from a set interval callback. React DOM compares the element and its children to the previous one and only applies the DOM updates necessary to bring the DOM to the desired state. You can verify by inspecting with the browser tools. Even though we create an element describing the whole UI tree on every tick, only the text node whose contents have changed gets updated by React DOM. In our experience, thinking about how the UI should look at any given moment, rather than how to change it over time, eliminates a whole class of bugs. And that's all for this tutorial. If you want to support this channel and you like this content, please subscribe so that I keep making these videos. And I see you guys in the next video.